What's up YouTube? Today we're diving into the world of Garten of Ban Ban and with the release of the fourth chapter coming out, I figured we'd make Ban Ban. But most importantly... Now let's get some concept art on the road. Let's go ahead and break out the iPad for a quick time-lapse drawing of Ban Ban here on Procreate. If you haven't played the game, it's a pretty creepy kid-like game with very simplistic, unique characters, which for me, from an artistic standpoint, leaves open possibilities of making these characters your own, just as you see what I've done here with Ban Ban. We already got our armature set up and here I'm using Sculpey Ultralight. I definitely love the freedom of Ultralight compared to aluminum foil. Basically making the skeleton or the structure underneath using clay to support that head because it was a little sketchy. I'm using Super Sculpey Original for this project and we are just forming that clay over all of it, placing the eyes in those sockets we made and giving it his very distinctive brow bones to give him that sinister look there. You can't forget his gums where we're going to eventually place some teeth later on down the road. I am going to place the lips and then smooth them out. Now what you're about to see right here I am pre-putting some holes in the gums. You'll see towards the end, I think it makes life a little bit easier when it comes to painting and the teeth. I think the overall effect looks more clean and professional looking. I've already layered some bacon bond on the wires and now we are laying some snakes of clay over them and making the legs and just placing them and pushing them into place and we can't forget about his feet. I'm using my ball stylus for God knows how long creating a bunch of texture, which behind the scenes, this took forever. Then I use my rubber shapers just to add a little extra pokey pokey all over that thing. Oh, look, please subscribe. We threw it in the oven to lock in all that hard work. Same thing with the legs, snakes of clay. Here we are busting his arms out just a little bit more and making them a slight bit more beefy. I've seen in a lot of drawings, his forearms were pretty massive. I'm sure you could tell my portions are a little off, but I think that kind of makes them look neat. Placing the hands right here with some bacon bond to lock them in place and some more of that texture. Keep it rolling. Smooshing it all into place. And there's his tongue. I made it out of cause clay. And I have the armature wire drilled into his mouth just to give it that little extra support. Okay, I had a little bit of fun. As you're about to see, I'm about to make a big mess of myself just lathering this dark black and red mixture of paint. I am using folk art matte acrylics for all my paints, cheap and effective, which is always a plus. But yes, I am laying down this base coat through the whole thing. Look how messy I am. It's pretty cool. I don't know. I am messy. I don't mind paint all over me. I think half of my wardrobe has paint all over it. Oh, look, I dry brush regular red over the surface and that brings out all those details we spent tirelessly on. Yep, you're making a mess there, boy. And we'll just keep going paint the base black. These are just wooden bases I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Pretty cheap. Love them. Let's paint those eyes white. I think it's the evil Ban Ban that has the white irises. I like that look for the whole 
thing we were going for. And as I mentioned earlier, we are now placing those teeth into those holes we pre-made a while back. I am using UV resin to lock those teeth into place using the UV light, black light, whatever you got works. I thought that was a pretty cool shot myself using the UV resin Oliver's mouth to make it that slimy cool look. He's done. My take on Ban Ban from Garden of Ban Ban 4 is complete. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And thanks for watching. Until next time, on to the glamour shots.